in our map of life at the retirement junction three roads they divert from that node one is where we are independent or independent contributing or dependent on children society or struggling for life look at this chart before you it speaks volumes 87 percent of elders after retirement or dependent on whom there's an indian scenario 87 percent of urban male they are dependent on their children 5 percent on their grandchildren and 5 percent on others uh, i live with your imagination what uh, it means on others like urban female 86 percent on own children 2 percent on grandchildren and 10 percent on others this is where the mistake of not planning for retirement is reflected these people had income at some point of time as we keep postponing our retirement planning we keep extending our work life an urban male this chart shows 44 percent of urban male are working beyond their age 60 and 9 percent of the urban female 66 percent of the rural male are working beyond their age 60. This is not very specific to Indian scenario, even though this statistics is uh, specific to Indian scenario. The most of the Asian cont uh, continent countries, you will find this is the situation. We need to start early and reach safely. Let's go back to the map. Before retirement junction, there is another critical area in life where we are passing through the road called as supportive road. We are now supporting our children. If after the retirement junction, we need to do retirement planning and we need to start the retirement planning now, during this road of supportive road, we need what is called as risk management. What do you mean by risk management? Look at this. Every family requires two types of support, emotional support, financial support, love, affection, leadership, they are all emotional support, financial support, money. Both are required. Upon death of a person, both stops. Emotional support also stops. Financial support also stops. Uh, there is a risk then. And we need to therefore understand the risk management principle during the supportive period of our life. We support our children like. Let me take an analogy of business a business requires money in two ways fixed capital working capital you're right fixed capital is where we go in for expansions uh, buying missionaries land building working capital is what we require to keep the business running ongoing expenses a company which has a huge fixed capital but has less working capital provision made will not be able to leverage the fixed capital. Let me give you an example. Let's talk about an airline company which has got huge planes, but they don't have money to pay the salaries to their pilots and the cabin crews. What will happen to these fixed capital? That's the big Boeings and all. They'll be parked. Let's analyze a business working capital. It can be divided into four major groups raw materials and components, salaries, wages and operating expenses like rents, water bills, electricity bills, EMIs and interest payments and the taxes. Exact, exactly similar to this is the working capital requirement for a family. Food, clothes, school fees. Salaries to drivers, maids, staffs, rents, maintenance, 
electricity bills, water bills, hmm? not World Bank, oh, WB means water bills. There are some people who already take loan from World Bank also. So, water bills, etc. EMIs, credit cards, repayments, property taxes, road taxes. I assume this income is already suffered an in income tax and we got the net income. So, these are the four major working capital requirements. Food, clothes, school fees, etc. Caption 1. Caption 2, salaries to divers, maids, staff who come into the houses to probably help us out. Rents, maintenance, particularly when you are living in big apartments, maintenance for the um, charge for the common areas. The third caption is EMIs, credit card repayments and the fourth caption is property taxes, road taxes. Where is this money coming from? Let's understand how the money flows into your family. Open your notebook and start answering these questions. Are you ready? The first question I would like to ask you, how much money is flowing into your family because of your occupation? Because you are working. Maybe you are a business person, maybe you are working as a clerk, maybe you are a manager somewhere. So your family is receiving certain money because of your occupation. Whatever it is, let's say it's yearly 1 million, just write down 1 million there. Let's say it's yearly 500,000, write down 500,000 there. The second question, how much money flows into your family because your spouse is employed or she is uh, or he is uh, into business like that is spouse occupation. We might have lent money to somebody else or we may be, uh, we might have invested in banks where we may get some interest, not the capital, I'm talking about the interest income. What is that volume? 500,000 a year? 50,000 a year? Write down. We might have invested in uh, uh, properties and we would have rent it out. Or there may be lands, trees, somewhere in the rural areas. So we don't know farming. So we let it out to somebody else. We ask them to do the farming and pay us the lease income. And if you have a leased income, or a rental income, mention it there. If money is flowing into your family through this source, mention it there. If, it, if nothing is there, then if there is nothing, then just mark zero. We might have invested in equities. We may be getting some dividend out of that. Maybe our parents are still employed. Maybe they get pensions and they are staying with us. So the money which flows into the family because of parents' occupation and pensions. Oh, there are some royalty incomes or other incomes which has not been mentioned above. H is total tout. These are various sources of income flowing into your family. Have we totaled? Do you have the figure in H? Now I would like to ask you a question. In your case, what is the A by H percentage. Is it 90 percent? Is it 95 percent? Is it 50 percent? A is the money flowing into your family through your occupation. H is the total money flowing into the family from all sources put together. So imagine if it's 90 percent, 95 percent, then what amount of risk your family is bearing on itself. Let's go back to the working capital requirement. Quickly start answering questions here. In your family, how much money is required every month towards the caption called food, clothes, school fees, etc.? How much money is required to, be, to pay out the rents, the maintenance or salaries to divers needs? electricity bills, water bills, etc. How much money is normally uh, used in repaying uh, the housing loans, the personal car loans, EMIs, the credit card repayments, property tax and road tax? Put the total requirement. Go back to the previous slide. What is A by H percentage? Meaning, so much is your contribution towards this working capital. And this working capital need to continue. We brought our family to this levels. They never asked for the 200,000. 
we took them out weekend dinners we took them out uh, foreign tours it's our duty therefore to see that uh, it continues till the time they start earning we wanted to show them how we love them and in the process of showing them how we love how much we love them oh, we spent nothing wrong but should we not ensure that it continues let's assume the total working capital requirement is xx in your family then the capital required to substitute your occupational income will be xx multiplied by 120 let me explain this let's say the total required monthly requirement working capital in your family is 100000 if we are not alive this 100,000 need to flow into the family. 100,000 multiplied by 12 is 1.2 million. If we are going to get a 10% interest on any of my investment, then I need a 12 million into my bank account, which will keep me giving me this 10%, 1.2 million. The capital required therefore is XX into 120. In fact, you need an insurance life insurance policy at a minimum value of xx multiplied by 120 percent there are two parts of map which you have seen the junction after retire junction at the time of retirement and the road where we are passing through supportive at the area at the road supportive we need to have risk management in place a by h indicates how much is our contribution to the family and in our absence that's not going to flow inside the family families will have fixed capitals like cars maybe bungalows gadgets but if they don't have the working capital then all these fixed capital will be underutilized or will have to be sold in a distressed sale to avoid that we need life insurance